What is going on, everybody? Hope all is well with you. Listen, uh, make sure you share this live. Make sure you um, tag somebody in this. Make sure you inbox somebody this. Make sure you uh, hit that like button and also that follow button, okay? Let's go ahead and go. Um, if you are catching this on the replay, you can also catch this over on YouTube, either on King Jive Show official, official King Jive Show, or King Joshua at the party. Anyways, or also over on Spotify. Okay, so let's go ahead and jump right into this. <clears throat> so for a little over two hours, for a little over two hours, um, Beast Leg was live this morning, going on, going on and going off about the situation. Hey y'all that's been going on with this stuff with Daryl Walls. Now, let me... Yo, I'm just getting here from the gym. So, you know, it's been a minute since he's really said something about this. So, you know, I said this the other day, you know, it's amazing how we give grace and we show love and compassion for one and we don't do it for the other ones, right? And then so we're sitting out here. Oh, we love you, brother. We love you, brother. Oh, God's got you. God's got you. But y'all didn't get the same grace. Y'all didn't give them same comments and same words, all of that stuff like that. Y'all didn't give that to Tone. You didn't give that to Kevin Terry. You didn't give that to Kahari. Uh, you gave it to, to, to James Hall. You gave it to James Ke to James Cleveland. You gave it to uh, 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 Kevin Bond. But it's like, hey, you didn't give it to me. You didn't give it to me. But at the end of the day, it's like, okay, so I know we're in a new season. I know we're still dealing with coronavirus and people are dying at a rapid rate. Heck, we got a thousand, um, uh, one mi we just hit a million cases here in Florida. But so does that make you sensitive to the fact of life now? B. Slay said, Tony, B. Slay said this morning, he said one of his old friends told him he wished he had committed suicide so he could have just went on and then people just could have went on about their business. But here's the thing. This is the church. This is the church. Mind you, I went over on Daryl Wall's Instagram. And he's up there just playing and uh, up there just playing, right? And all of these gospel stars, all of these gospel stars are in the comments. We love you. We love you. We're supporting you. Whatever. And I'm like, hmm, interesting, interesting, interesting. Jonathan McReynolds, Jason Nelson, Erica Campbell, Kiera, Travis Malloy, all of these people, right, are over here showing this man love. Now, mind you, anybody who knows anybody, you know the gospel industry is full of the gays. Honey, the gays, the lesbians, all of it. It's full of it. Honey, all, all the children is in the gospel industry. And they're just over there showing so much love. Ah, oh, oh my God. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Y'all share this live. Share the live. Uh -huh, oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God. Now, Tony's over here this morning cussing people smooth out. Hey, Bishop, good morning. Hey, everybody. Cussing people smooth out. Now, let me tell you something about these, these profanity words. Y'all say that you don't like somebody using profanity. But I don't see y'all saying nothing to these nasty pastors. I don't see y'all saying nothing to John Gray. I don't see y'all saying nothing to, 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 what's that man, Justin Bieber's pastor. I don't see y'all saying nothing to Brian Carnes. With his flip-flop prophecy. I don't see y'all saying nothing to Juanita Bynum. 
with her foolishness and carrying on and out here selling prayer cloths in a pandemic. I don't, I don't see y'all saying nothing. But here's the thing. Here's the thing, y'all. Here's the thing. Y'all give grace to these people, right? But the ones who you throw away, the ones who you throw away. Now, mind you, because Tony was talking, he talked about Lexi. He talked about Daryl Walls. He talked about Donnie McClurkin. All these people. It's on my, it's, it's on my YouTube. Take yourself on over there to um, King Job Show After Party. It's over there. It's probably live right now. Y'all give grace to these people. And mind you, here's my thing. You all are talking. You all are talking about God loves you, God loves you, God loves you. God loved Tone too. God loved Kevin Terry too. But I don't see y'all saying nothing for them. Now, some of y'all gonna come over here and say, brother, just let it go. See, that's 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 real easy for you to say when your finances aren't affected. When your finances aren't affected. That's easy for you to say when your reputation is not affected. That's easy for you to say when you can go on living your life. That's easy for you to say. Easy. Because you don't have to deal with it. Alonda, you was on there, baby. You was, I mean, you was both on there. And it's like, you want to tell somebody to let it go but you are the main one. You are the main one who was dragging. So you want to talk about the body of Christ. This is the body of Christ. This is the. Okay. Yeah. I want y'all to go and support this channel today. Go and support it. I'm going to put this thing up here. Go ahead. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. This is the body of Christ. This is the body of Christ. This is the body of Christ. The body of Christ don't care nothing. This particular form. This particular form is the body of Christ. You talk with your mouth out of one side and you do something else on this side. The body of Christ is two-faced. So then you tell me, because <clears throat> I know my sister going to tell me, well, brother, what do you think we should do? Do right. Make your wrongs right. Make your wrongs right. You have killed some of your most anointed people. Meanwhile, patting this foolishness on the hand. You're patting John Gray on the hand and saying, go ahead on, brother. And you still preaching. Meanwhile, he didn't sit out here and cheated on his wife three, four, five times that we see on uh, publicly. We pat on the hand Brian Karn after he didn't slept with all, all umpteen many people. And it prophesied the wrong thing umpteen many times. But y'all still support the foolishness. Where is his apology? Where is his public God still loves you? Where is Tone, Kevin Terry, Kahari, uh, 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 Jeffrey Thomas, all of these people's public support? Tony didn't have a video. Tony didn't have a video. Lexi outed him. Tony did not have a video. Lexi outed him. And check this out, because he said it best. He said, Bishop Wagner begged her not to air the interview.
Bishop Wagner begged her not to have the interview. And because she wanted to do it anyways, and she wanted to do whatever, I don't know, she went ahead and put it on out there. I don't know if it's because there was competition or whatever the case may be. But isn't this your brother? Isn't this your brother and, uh, and sister in Christ? Isn't this your brother and sister in Christ? Isn't Lexi the very same one who dragged the hell out of out of Brian Carn for having a raggedy behind prophecy? Isn't Lexi the very same one that dragged Brian Carn and that talked about Paula White? Isn't Lexi the same one? But she wants to move on now because that's that's her past. That's her past. I'm moving on. You can move on because you're not affected. You're not affected. But what you did and, and countless of others, brothers and sisters in Christ, have killed somebody who was as affected, if not more, than you. Period. Period. Where my iPad at? Y'all dragged Tony because he got a divorce. Y'all dragged Tony because he was going through. But where were y'all at when he lost his mother? Where were y'all at when he lost his father? Where were y'all at when he went through his divorce? Y'all drugged that man for what reason? But now all of a sudden, everybody want to have love and kindness and grace. You make sure you take that love and kindness and grace and go right on back over there and go pick that man up and be genuine. But see, but see, let me tell you something. Let me tell you something. Half of this mess, half of this mess come from the gays. Let me tell you why. Because the gospel music industry, the gospel music industry is full of the gays, right? It's full of the gays. Let me, let me tell you something. It's full of the gays. I'm going to tell I'm, I'm, I'm going right there because I talked about this before. When, when I, when I came out, it was the gays who drug me. When Tone was outed, it was the gays who drug Tone. But you want to drag people. But when the preacher sits up here and dogs you out in the church, you want to march in front of the church. When that little raggedy ass looks, okay. When that little boy got put out of Antonio Rockamore's church in Chicago, who was there rallying for him? Who? Who was there rallying? It was the gays, because they were, it's not right. How do you kill one? And then you want to rally behind something else because you can't come in there and sit and do what you want to do. Make that make sense. Make that make sense, niece. Make that make sense. I got one even better for you. I got, I'm going I'm to I'm bring it even close, closer home, cl closer to home for you. Especially some of y'all Lakoja girls. <clears throat> Before Kojic really got on social media, before the church, period, got onto social media, let me let me bring it home for you. Let me bring it home for you, niece. I'm gonna bring it home for you. Before the church really got onto social media, I was in Minnesota. I'm gonna give you a little history. We're gonna take you down to that down uh, the history road, okay? We're gonna take you on down through there. Before the church got onto social media, I was in Minnesota. I had already left here in Florida 
And I had already been advertising for end time restoration ministries. Let's, let's go and get a good history lesson today. Already been advertising for end time restoration ministries. I was by far the only person that was, that was really showcasing praise breaks, showcasing ministries. Baby, I was breaking computers, trying to advertise ministries. By the time I left Minnesota and, and left there and went to Minnesota, left Florida and went to Minnesota, I was advertising for High Praise Ministries, Church of God in Christ. That was my pastor, Pastor Dwayne, Apostle Dwayne Hill, Church of God in Christ. Mm -hmm. Baby, did nobody know that there was niggas in Minnesota? Nobody knew. But I kept advertising the jurisdiction. I kept advertising the church until people came from Alabama, Mississippi, all of that stuff to, to Minnesota just to see what was going on. Did. Baby, it's all right. It's, it's facts. Because you can go to uh, HP, what was it? High Praise MDC on YouTube and go catch the videos. Did, can, will, and do. I was the first person to do that. Meanwhile, all these niggas, these church girls were around here because I kept getting attention, right? That's how I know. Because before I was vlogging, vlogging, I was vlogging about just church, period. And so all the girls, Alanda, was inboxing, texting, oh, you're so famous. Oh, this. Oh, we know you. Oh, 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 oh. I was all over the place because, baby, I was taking the kids in when we was doing announcements. We was doing praise breaks, and we was all over the place, and we was just going smooth in, period. The kids was calling me. The kids was calling me. Oh, Mario, how do you do this? Oh, Mario, how do you do that? Oh, Mario, oh, Mario, oh, Mario, oh, Mario, oh, Mario. So it took them years. It took the churches years to get to what I was doing, right? It took the church years. Then the girls started getting a hang of it. Then the church of God in Christ started getting a hang of it. And then at that particular time, when we first went to St. Louis, it was, it was, what's that boy name? I think his name was Deshaun. It was Dustin and myself were creating graphics for the church. So the church didn't pick this other boy, Deshaun or whatever his name is, but they were looking at uh, Dustin and myself. I didn't want it because I was doing too much work in my church. So I gave, I went ahead and let them go ahead and get dusted. And all of the marketing stuff like that, me and Dustin was working together trying to make sure things were right. We can talk about it. We can talk about it. And then... We were doing all this marketing stuff. And then now y'all want to act like you want to act like you don't know what's going on. The people that helped you get where you are, you want to act like you don't know what's going on. High Praise Ministries at Destiny Center, wouldn't nobody even know who you are if it was not for me. But see, and Mario, where are you going? Janine, Janine is on here, baby. Janine is on here, baby. We all went to church together. When my pastor, because of a status, wanted to out me, I hadn't even did anything public. But because my pastor wanted to out me and ostracize me to cover his behind, where was the church at then? Where was the church at then? Everybody got all this love. But you killed somebody along the way as you got to this point where you talking about some love. I tried to make amends with my pastor. I went back to the church. 
I went back to the church, worked in the church. Meanwhile, he still want to act a fool. Went to go work and during all this time before he made me, to, wanted to make me get up in front of the church and tell the for church whether I was gay or straight. I'm working a Christmas cantata. I go and decorate the, 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 the stage and all this other stuff at the Christmas cantata. So when the Christmas cantata is over, I'm taking the decorations down to go back to the church. This nigga's at the church and he walks past the door because the door was locked. Walked past the door, looks at me and kept walking. Didn't want to say nothing to me until I got up in front of the church to apologize for making a status about the Vision Church. But everybody want to be open and accepting right now. Everybody want to be open and accepting right now. But you kill people on the way to your being open and accepting. But I'm just supposed to move on, right? I'm just supposed to move on. Y'all just so freely just loving right now. Y'all just so freely loving right now. You get mad at me because I have cuss words. Kiss my asshole. Y'all tried to, to drag, just like with Tone, y'all girls in the church tried to drag and kill people because somebody wanted to be free and walk in their truth. Mind you, I didn't even have no videos back then. I ain't have no videos. I didn't sleep my way through this church. I didn't get fucked through this church. I worked in the national church. Yes, I did. I worked in the national church, Uncle Tony. I worked in the music department and the evangelism department where the girls are. I did. I worked in the national church. When I decided to come out when I was in Memphis, Tennessee, they going to come telling me, matter of fact, we can go there. I done forgot the man's name. Must be the Lord. Don't want me to say it. I worked in the national church. And somebody who I called my brother come telling me that the other saints, the head department heads, don't work, want me to work in the, in the, in the, they don't need me that year. I said, why? I said, it's because I decided to be honest and come out. Yeah, that, that's, that's just not a good look right now. But you got all these simple faggots on the fucking front row. You got all these girls walking on the front row. You got Keyron Bass. Slow ass mother walking around here on the front row. You got all these girls up in here that shouting and tap dancing the can on up in here doing revival fire and going back to the hotel room sucking and fucking. But you want to tell me how I'm not I'm not used. What? And they still there. Ain't Keyron Bass? Ain't he a national evangelist over there in Carolina? But you want to tell me how I'm not being used? Bitch, I'm more of a man than that nigga will ever be. Period. You got these girls who jealous because I decided to come out and be honest about my life. Meanwhile, y'all walking around the church living in secret in Cano and sucking the pastor's dick behind closed doors and y'all around here marrying these little girls and stuff like that. For what? For what? Huh? So you can get a title and a position? Is that, is that all your life is worth? A title and a position? Are you serious? Meanwhile, meanwhile, he go, he go, let me, let me go and run this back real quick. Let me go and run this back real quick. Let me show you how fucked up the church really is. <clears throat> Dustin gets outed by one of his friends, right? Dustin Clarity gets outed by one of his friends. Daryl McCoy sends the damn video over there. 
to damn William McCray and stuff. And don't nobody know what's going on. Oh, yeah, I got that tea. Y'all want to be out here with the fuck shit and can on. But it's your very own friends who do the, who do the, who do the damn most. Meanwhile, Dustin's out here crying his eyes out. Dustin's crying his eyes out right here talking about he want to commit suicide because the church, the church wanted to throw him away because he had a video that came out. He had a video that came out. And the church, Judy, I'm going to get to your ass in a minute. Judy McAllister and Ron Briggs with his gay ass wanted to sit out here and throw this boy away. Meanwhile, Ron is all up and throughout the hotels sucking and fucking with his stank ass breath and doing all type of bullshit too. How the fuck you gonna throw this boy away because he got a video and your shit just ain't been out of yet? Huh? Make that make sense, daughter. Make it make sense. How we gonna do this? Honey, it's the girls. Girl, it's the girls. But you wanna tell me, oh, 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 we gotta show love in the body of Christ. How we gonna show love in the body of Christ when the so-called body of Christ is the one doing the foolishness? Meanwhile, Dustin's over here crying his eyeballs out. Dustin's over here crying his eyeballs out. About to commit suicide. Meanwhile, his true friends, his true friends are right there for him. His true friends are calling to check on him. Meanwhile, one of the little raggedy motherfuckers is sitting out here and sold him out. Why? I don't know. Jealousy? I don't know what the fuck. This is what, this is what. This is what everything is going. This is this is where the camp. This is where the 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 uh, 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 rubber meets the road. This is where the rubber meets the road. Because y'all want to show, y'all want to show, y'all want to show Daryl Walls all of this love, but y'all try to kill people along the way to y'all showing everybody the love of Christ. And to y'all Bible-thumping niggas that be in these damn comments and stuff, let me holler at y'all real quick. Y'all love to call somebody an abomination. You love to call somebody an abomination and God is not pleased. Baby, you had a baby. You got four, five babies out of wedlock. Is God pleased with that? You sleep with somebody else's husband. Is God pleased with that? And you kill me with this all is sin, all is sin. Bitch, we born in sin and shaped in iniquity and we sin every day. So how many goddamn times you gonna say, God, forgive me? How many motherfucking times you gonna put the Lord on the cross? Huh? How many times? How many times? How many times? But you wanna tell me, Mari, just let it go. I can't let it go. Because my problem is not with the building, the church, it's with the people. The people that's supposed to be holy and sanctified and set apart and free. It's them people. You talk about people, you ostracize people, you try to kill people, and then you want to come into church talking about we lifting up holy hands. No, bring all y'all ass down here to the goddamn altar. Bring all y'all monkey asses down here. Meanwhile, it'd it be the gays that be right there ostracizing people. The mean, the, and, and, the mean, and meanwhile, when I came out, mm, when I came out, Terrence, when I came out, Terrence, it was the gays who was talking to leaders to tell them to not use me and use my services. It was the gays that was talking to the leaders. The very ones who cry and get mad because the preachers dogged them out. It was the very ones who did, who do that. 
and I went on by my way. And I'm not talking about just the young gays. Ty, I'm not just talking about the young gays. I'm talking about these old queens. These old queens. Bitch, y'all owe a whole bunch of niggas an apology. Because as you reform your mind, as you reform your mind, and you evolve, and you unlearn to relearn, nigga, you didn't kill some folks along the way. So you need to go back and say, I'm sorry. Better yet, let me give you a new form of English. Just say, I apologize. I apologize. What I did to you, I apologize. I apologize to you. I apologize to you. Because what I did was wrong. You think I got an apology from my pastor? And all the shit he didn't did? Everybody want to cry. But do you think I got an apology? No. I went back to the church. Because the spirit was dealing with me. And I needed to make my amends and make things right. You think I still got an apology? No. I, I was supposed to be the youth pastor at the church. Me, Ashley, and Anna. I had to leave to go down to Memphis to go take care of my folks. Car broke down. My pastor said to me, you know what to do. You want to come back here? You know what to do. Nigga, my car broke down. You think anybody? No. Honey, this ain't just, this. I, listen, first of all, I'm not bitter. I'm not bitter. But see, this is the body of Christ. This is the body of Christ. What does lady say? Does the apology make it okay? Okay. No, it don't make it okay. It won't. It, no. Everybody needs to come together and fix this. One lady got on the video the other day. So it's a shame. It's the body of Christ. This is an abomination. Ma'am, your pastor out here sleep with young girls. You think God pleased with that? You think God pleased with your, your young daughter out here sleeping and hoeing herself out? You think God pleased with that? Oh, I forgot she got it from her mama. Because her mama did the same thing too. And her grandmammy did the same thing too. It's a generational hoes around here. Y'all always love to throw up an abomination. Y'all always love to throw up an abomination. Well, let me help you out with something with your abominable abomination ass. Let me help you out with something. That very Bible that talks about an abomination. The Bible even says that when you talk about your homosexuality, why don't you do some research on the word homosexuality? Because if we're so concerned about gays and homosexuality, you better go talk to your creator. Because them angels that God created in the Bible in Genesis 8, 6, and 8 talked about the angels coming down here having sex with the men, the women, and the animals. Where you think we get Nephilims from? Where you think we get centurions from? Since y'all do so much research in your Bibles. See, see, Tony said it was the gospel industry. Right? Tony was talking it was the gospel industry. But no, it's really the girls. It's really the old queens. It's really the old and the new queens. Because when they see an opportunity to move you out the way, they will move you out the way. They will do anything and everything to ostracize you and move you out the way. But this is the body of Christ. This is the body of Christ. All right. This is the body of Christ. This is the body of Christ. This is the body of Christ. I really, you know, I show love towards Daryl Walls because it was not shown towards me. 
The reason why I constantly go off on Andronisha Cardwell is because, bitch, you are a sorry, forsaken sissy. Yes, you are, ma'am. You are a sorry, forsaken sissy. You got yourself up in front of the church to be seen, ho. You got your dusty self up in front of the church to be seen. I like me some women, 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 women. And you still sucking dick. And you keep coming for me. You keep coming for me. You are a sorry sissy. And you keep coming for people. And you keep trying to make yourself relevant. You are a sorry sissy, sir. You and the likes of William McCray. Y'all keep coming for me and you keep coming for me with dry stuff. Old things that don't make no sense. You keep bringing my name up. And again, you feel, what I'm, feel where I'm coming from. These are people that are like me. These are gays. These are gays. Self-hating, degrading gays that want to be accepted in a place that don't want to accept them. Y'all Negroes walk around here like y'all skin of William McRae. Whoop that nigga ass. I bet you he'll leave you alone. So let, me, let me give you a little tea on William McRae. See, the reason why William McCray is where he is right now is because the, he came across them shears. And them shears and fucked them up. This is the reason why his punk ass is living in a two-star motel. Because, bitch, you can't extort nobody no more. Because ain't nobody really scared of your ass no more. These big preachers don't give two shits about you. Andronisha, girl, your numbers are low, daughter. Your numbers are low. I don't know how long your little fame going to last, but it won't last always. And you keep coming for people, somebody going to whoop your asshole. Somebody going to whoop your ass. That part. I'm just letting you know. Because if it ain't me, it's going to be somebody. You're going to take your body. You know what, daughter? Bring your behind Bring your behind to Memphis next year. If we have convocation, bring your ass to Memphis, Tennessee. Folks going to sit around and, and catch you around that corner and drag you around that corner and show you a good Memphis ass whooping. You self-hating, loathing homosexual. Now, let's get back to be slaves. B. Slade was on this morning. <clears throat> Hold on. Somebody said the way you talk. Uh, okay, let me help you out, man. Let me help you out real quick. I got you. Thank you. Because the way I, baby, I, I'm not worried about somebody trying to fight me because I do got these hands, niece. Don't you, don't you ever question that old. I got these hands for you too. Man, woman, boy, and girl. You can catch these hands. Come on here, Tom. Yeah, and that, that'd be the other thing. Y'all want to sit online and type this stuff. And you never going to say this stuff in the presence. This is horrible. Miko, this is the body. These folks call themselves the body of Christ. These people call themselves the body of Christ. What's up, T.O.? These people call themselves the body of Christ and say some of the most damnable things to people that are in the body of Christ. You know what it is? You know what? It, now, I was, clean, I was um, doing a water change on my fish tank today. I was doing a water change on my fish tank today. And the Spirit spoke to me. This is nothing. 
This is nothing but the era of the scarlet letter. Y'all say, oh, Mario, that's deep. That's deep. Oh, that's deep. Yes. This is deep. This is the era of the scarlet letter where you ostracize one who is in sin with the one that you don't want to ostracize. You want to ostracize one with the scarlet letter A on or B. Honey, we got all type of letters on. Somebody got adultery. Somebody got S for sex. Somebody got A. Somebody got H for head. Somebody got uh, AF for ass fucking. Somebody got uh, 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 D for doggy style. Somebody got P for being a pedophile. Meanwhile, while you ostracizing this, they was there's, a, there's one that you don't want to ostracize because that's your friend. That's your friend. That's your, that's your, that's your, that's your, that's your comrade. That's your comrade. That's your, that's your elbow and elbow bumping buddy. Y'all out here committing A's together. Y'all out here smashing coochies together. Y'all out here running train on niggas together. But ain't nobody going to talk about y'all because y'all in leadership position. Mm. Yes, God. Y'all in, in leadership position, ain't you? Y'all in leadership position, ain't you? Y'all go and share this line. You can go and hit that cash app too because I'm going to work this thing out this morning. Go ahead, I'm going to work this thing out this morning. You mad. And you keep saying to me, well, what are we going to do? What do you want to do? What do you want to do? Because you're not going to keep playing in my face. You're not going to keep playing in my face. Y'all, what even better for you? What even better for you? Now, mind you, can I work, Ty? Can I work this thing out, Ty? Can I work this thing out? Mind you, niece, <laughs> outside of this lie, this governmental lie, honey, you ain't never heard of a scandal on me, niece. Honey, you ain't never heard of a scandal on me. Honey, you ain't never seen no dick pics, ass pics, anything like that. And if you did, I don't want to put it out there. I put it out there. I put it out there. Honey, you ain't heard me. You ain't seen no video. You ain't seen no video of me sucking dick. You ain't seen no video of me screwing. Hmm? Honey, these y'all girls... Y'all girls ain't caught me in now orgy at now holy meeting. And Crystal, I don't want to put the plaids out there. Because I did that. I did that. Y'all want to go see him again? Go to OnlyFans. Did I say that? Oop, did I say that? Meanwhile, the culture children are over there on, on Snapchat. Selling dick and ass for free. Okay. And baby, I'm not out here screwing or doing nothing. Honey, you ain't going to see me jacking my meat. Honey, you'll get an imagery. But you ain't going to see me over there jacking my meat. And playing with myself. Daughter. Mm. You know. Tony was upset because here, here it is, the church want to love on Daryl Walls, right? The church want to love on Daryl Walls. And it's these same raggedy ass girls. It's these same raggedy ass girls. No, I'm, I'm, I'm going to help the church today. I'm going to help the church today. I, I, I'm, I'm going to help the church today. It's these same girls. See, 
Y'all what you see see this see what's been painted. <clears throat> yes. See what's been painted, Miko, Nay, Lamar, Ty, Crystal. What's been painted is oh Jobs is messy. Who said that? A messy fag. That's who said that. A messy queen is the one who said that. Meanwhile, I'm over here about minding my own business. I'm over here minding my own business. I just report what's been reported to me in the words of Earl Carter. I'm just over here reporting the stories that I heard. Reporting the stories that I see. And the girls, the girls in the church don't like it. Because I talked about they raggedy ass pastor. Yes, I did. Y'all want to tell me to be quiet because I report the news. But my only reporting of the news, Ty, my only reporting of the news has always been the concern of the church. Raymond, my only concern has been, hey, this can't be. And you mad at me. Meanwhile, an old, decrepit, disgruntled homosexual with long clawed fingernails on and bangle bracelets and a fucked up wig is out here spewing all kind of stuff about me because I'm like and nigga you not that's all I've been doing all these years is talking to the church saying church let's get better Church, let's get better. You don't want to follow me because some messy fag told you I was a messy queen and told you I was out here spewing and, and, and disrespecting the body of Christ. You go listen to a, a half hair, a half wearing, snatched off, crusty wearing wig having fag. But you gonna sit up here and go, girl. I just got upset. You gonna go listen to that thing. And your ass is fighting to stay alive. You fighting to stay alive. Oh, you are shriveling away as we speak. What you should have been doing is doing what you was doing in the beginning. But your, your rusty ass has set out here and destroyed countless of lives. Let's go back. Let's think about this thing. Mm. Let's think about this thing. Because there was a superintendent here in Orlando. Ty, you remember... Uh, uh, Superintendent Randolph, you try, you destroyed that man. That is, this, this is a fag, huh? This, this is a gay. That's mad because a man don't want to sleep with him. But you want to go around here spewing lies, talking about I'm mad, I'm mad. I had a, I had an orgy at my house. Bitch, how you know? See that? See, see that's how. That's what happens. See, a lie gets spread real quick. A lie gets spread real quick. And here come the truth to go ahead and clean it up. It's the church. It's the church that keeps hiding and fooling with William McCray because they act like they scared. No, baby, don't worry. Don't be scared. Let him expose yourself and kick his ass out. I had a pastor tell me a couple of weeks ago, that they was waiting to get into the uh, platinum section. And he walked his monkey ass on through there. What y'all scared for? What y'all scared for? Snatch that nigga by that, that bald head of his. And snatch him back. Where your badge at, bitch? Y'all walk around here scared. Y'all walk around here scared. Of somebody who is a ticking time bomb. That's waiting to get ticked off. That part, whose time ain't long.
but this is the church. Between between Horseface McCray and and Andrew non relevant Cardwell. These are the folks who make the church look bad. Meanwhile, it's niggas like me who still working in the church to at least try to make the church be something. Meanwhile, I'm having a fight with the gays because the gays don't like the fact that I am, I am who I am and I can walk freely throughout this church. And my name ain't spread all over throughout the church. Y'all want to have a Ron Briggs on your staff. But it's nasty ass, stank ass breath, Ron Briggs, who want to be around here with the fuck shit. And Ron, any day you want it, you can catch it. Because you feel some type of way. But it was your bullshit ass. It was your bullshit ass that stepped to me during a convocation musical about fucking Judy McAllister. You talk about Judy McAllister is like the president of the United States. Fuck you and your motherfucking president. I've never disrespected your monkey ass. But the way you stepped to me, bitch, my bitch, I ain't never forgot that. I ain't never forgot that motherfucker. I ain't never forgot that. It's you nasty gays. It's you people like you. You want to work in the church. And somebody like me, bitch, who ain't got no scandals. You feel some type of way. Did you want to fuck, bitch? I don't know. Talk to me, daughter. Did you want to fuck? Is that what you wanted, niece? I'm sorry. Because we can't fuck, bitch. Because you're not going to hold fucking over my head, ho. And for you retarded motherfuckers that want to sit out here, ooh, I, Chives, I like what you're saying, but ooh, your words. So you rather, you rather, you rather sit out here and deal with a pedophile pastor. So what you, pedophile or profanity words? See, profanity ain't going to do shit. Profanity ain't going to do shit. But a pedophile will destroy. Ron Briggs sat out here in the church and a homosexual too, homosexual too, will suck a dick up, you Hoover vacuum cleaner. Sat out here and wanted to almost fight me in the church for damn Judy McAllister. Are you serious? Are you serious? You wanted to fight me in the middle of a, a set that Jonathan McReynolds was doing. You want to fight me in the middle of a Kojic musical. You want to fight me over Judy McAllister and then her fuck ass because everybody came running to me. Ryan came, Ryan Bill came running over there to me talking about, bro, can you just move? He was so kind. I love you, Ryan. That's my brother. And anybody say something to him, I hope he say something to me so I can go to fuck off on your ass. Ryan Briggs came to me and said, bro, can you move down like, you know, we got other artists. He was trying to be sweet about it. I knew what the fuck was going on. And here go Karen McKinney right over there with Ron Briggs trying to be messy as hell. Up there just popping off. Meanwhile, the security kept coming to me because right across on the other side of the stage, people was holding their phones out because they thought it was about to be a fight up in the church. But you want to sit out here and keep messing with me. Why? Because I talked about Judy McAllister. Who the fuck is Judy McAllister? She ain't the Clarks. She just came around that we know of when Bishop Blake got in office. Because, honey, I didn't know who the hell she was anyways. But her ass got disrespectful because I said the church needs church. Not, oh, and all the girls, yes, I said it. All the girls, especially the choir members, got mad at me because I talked about Judy McAllister. And I said, ho, oh, bring the church back to church. That's what I said. You don't like me after this? Oh, goddamn well. But we're not going to talk about, we're not going to talk about daughter, how her husband 
was brought up on fed charges for about one, two, three million dollars for doing some type of real estate fraud. We're not going to talk about that, are we? And how Bishop Blake got her off, got him off. And Judy was around here selling fucking T-shirts for, 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 for motherfucking $25 and to the music department trying to sit up here and make goddamn money. We're not going to talk about that. We're not going to talk about that. How you was embarrassed, Judy. We're not going to talk about that. But you want to get upset with me. See, y'all don't y'all keep coming across the wrong one. But you came across the right one. You came across the right one. And all y'all simple fags that's being the choir, except that you want to drag me and talk about me and try to hurt me. Bitch, you can't hurt me, ho. I'm built like steel, ho. You can't bend me. You can't break me. Only thing you're going to do is heat me up and I'm going to bend another way. Can I say that one more time, ho? You can't hurt me. I'm iron. You're going to heat me up and I'm going to bend and fold another way. And I'm still going to be right here. That part. When I was right there and I was the one defending you against the church of God in Christ. I was the one defending you against the church and how the church was treating us. We are still people. We are still people. And God still use us because baby, we get right in that choir and we sang heaven down. This is what Tony was talking about. This is what Tony was talking about. You don't want us, but you use us. You don't want us, but you use us. You don't want us, but you still use us. We still serve. You don't get to sit out here and, and show compassion for one and not the other. Because what you didn't did, you didn't open up a Pandora's box. That's what the fuck y'all done did. All y'all are church girls. Oh, we love you. 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 We love you, Daryl. We love you, Daryl. We love you, Daryl. We love you, Daryl. And meanwhile, meanwhile, Shanda, Damari. It, it, it's, it's, these, it's these random, these random gays that's inboxing people, right? These random gays that's inboxing people. Oh, don't bring him. Don't support him. Don't do this. Don't do that. Larry was on his live to my son. See, jobs could be far. But it's because of his ways that he's not far. What ways, sir? Because y'all have antagonized me. Because y'all keep fucking with me. And, I, and I'm responding back to y'all fuck shit. That's the, reason, that's the reason why I was going off like I was going off. That time. Because y'all kept fucking with me. This, this is a problem. This is the problem. This is the problem. This is the problem. And it ain't so much the straights. It's the gays. It's the gays. I don't have no problem with no straight people. I don't, baby. I really don't. Honey, I really, Deshaun, brother, I really don't. I don't have no problem with the straights. It's the gays I have a problem with. Because the gays, man, what, what they said on the color purple? Don't nobody like nobody being too proud of themselves. This is the gays. The gays don't want you to be happy. The gays don't want you to be proud. And anytime you start moving up, here they come. It's whispering to somebody. Whispering to somebody. 
Are you that upset with yourself, bitch? Are you that bothered? Are you that pressed? Honey. And it's not the ones in the pews either. <laughs> it's not the ones in the pews either. It's the ones with the position. It's the ones with the position. And like I said before, because you don't have, please don't call me. Because you call me this time, you just might get cussed out. I don't, I don't know who that's for. That thing just rolls up out of me. I don't know who you are. Niece, I don't know who you are. But you call me this time. It won't be gracious. And I will politely, I will graciously and politely hang up that phone. Click up. I'm not playing with y'all this time. I'm not playing with y'all this time. This is not okay. This is the body of Christ. What's so what's so gracious about what's so gracious about Daryl Walls that that the compassion and love that the compassion and love that you all are showing to one. Remember that, keep that same energy and go back and apologize for how you treated these other people. Because cause Dick and Walls is going to be going on doing his own thing. The group going to be going on doing their own thing. Matter of fact, they're supposed to be on own. They're supposed to be over there with Oprah and all kind of stuff like that. But meanwhile, the same ones who didn't even have a scandal like that, you ostracized them and threw them away. You ostracized them and threw them away. Go get them and apologize. Because you need to fix that. Because that blood is required on your hands. Uh, 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 let, me, let, me, let me help you out. See, see y'all have forgot. Y'all have forgot Kevin Terry was the one who was ministering and singing to y'all and taking y'all into praise breaks. You forgot that Kevin Terry was the one that was singing and taking y'all in the glory. You forgot. Hold on. I'm going to help y'all with something. Hold on. You forgot that it was Tone who sang, Lord, make me over. He, see, he didn't lie to you. He sang about his life in his songs. Hold on, hold on. Tony's song, Lord, make me over. Make me over again. Lord, make me over. Make me over again. Tony was the one song that y'all was praise dancing and everything. Oh, Tony's song, uh, God is not for God. God is not for God. If he said that he can do it, God is not for God. I see you, baby. He sang that. Took y'all into worship. Uh, unspoken. The feelings. Restoration. Um, okay, that was with Snoop Dogg. I'm trying to get some old songs. Since Jesus came, about that thing, um, ooh, ooh, this old. That's when, that's when you blessed me, that's when, that's when you made me, that's when. Honey, all these songs that y'all praise and worship to, that you lift your hands and you cry to, the millions of people. I need you to get off me. I'm talking. Go that way. Go that way. Where, where my stick? Those songs. You throw this man away. You throw this man away because Lexi outed him. Lexi outed him. And instead of y'all showing love and kindness to 
Instead of y'all showing love and kindness, instead of y'all showing love and kindness, here y'all go. Y'all keep throwing people away. You ain't gonna have nobody left, daughter. You ain't gonna have nobody left. You ain't gonna have nobody left. You ain't gonna have nobody left because you're throwing everybody away. You, you're throwing everybody away, niece. Mm-hmm. You don't have nobody left. So then what you gonna do? What you gonna do? What you gonna do? It's time. It is time. No, Lexi has not apologized to him. It is time for the church to be the church. And fix the wrong. And let me say that one more time. It is time. It is time for the church to be the church. And fix the wounded and the broken. And the half dead. And resuscitate life to the body. It's time for the church to be the church and fix it. It's time for the church to be the church and fix it. Hello? It's time for the church to be the church and fix it. It's time for the church to be the church and fix it. You don't want to fix it? You, you, don't, you, don't, you don't want to fix it, niece? Okay. Take your sign down then. Take your sign down. Take your sign down. To all of y'all gays. I'm, I'm, let me let me let me let me ride right here real quick. To all of y'all gays, y'all self-hating, self-loathing homosexuals and lesbians too. But you gays, you cannot expect for to have equality when you hating on one of your own. Let me just, let me pause right there. You cannot expect to go far in life when you're hating on your own, when you're ostracizing your own, you're throwing your own under the bus for the sake of you getting the position, for them not being able to walk in their particular or their predestined door. You can't get far. <coughs> Niece, you won't make it in life. Being a self-hating gay, you won't make it far, daughter. You won't make it far. And to y'all people, what's up, Uncle? Hey, Uncle Bishop. You won't make it far. You won't make it far. Because the same thing that you dish out for one is going to come back to you. That part. And for y'all straights that got such a problem with gays, ask yourself, why do I have a problem with somebody who don't feed, finance, or fuck me? Hello, church. Hello, church. Y'all ain't talking to me today. Ask yourself that. Over the Bible. Again, niece. Ask yourself the question, daughter. Why do I have a problem with somebody who don't feed, finance, or fuck me?
I need to say that for, for, for about five folks that's on the back row by the exit door. It's two of y'all on this side of the church, and it's about three of y'all on that side, and it's four of y'all up there in the balcony that's trying to hide. Ask yourself this question. Ask yourself this question. Why do I have a problem? Eddie, Raymond, ask y'all straight, ask yourself this question. Why do I have a problem with someone who does not feed, finance, and that does not fuck me? At the end of the day, God is the righteous judge and only him is going to be the one that says welcome or depart. Not your ass. <laughs> you said exegete this, this fucking text. I'm trying to tell you. I'm trying to tell you. I'm trying to tell you. See, y'all don't like cuss words, but y'all don't understand nothing else. You don't like cuss words, right? You don't like cuss words. You don't like cuss words, but y'all do the absolute most. You have hate in your heart and you want to lift up hands saying, I worship you, God. Put them dirty hands down. Put them. Who is this? Child, who is this? I don't know who that is. Honey, block that. We're trying to get on this live. Honey, you get yourself on somewhere. Honey, the body of Christ ain't going to grow. It ain't going to go nowhere. The body of Christ ain't going to go nowhere. Y'all talking about Jesus' body and carrying on stuff. It ain't going to go nowhere. It's not going to go anywhere. We cannot move forward until we heal. Bishop Patterson said it best. We need to go and step in line and we learn how to be healed, be delivered, and be set free. That's what we need to do. We need to be healed. We need to be delivered and we need to be set free. That's what we need to do. Y'all gays, y'all homosexuals, you lesbians, stop hating people. We know you hate yourself. You didn't marry somebody because the church told you to marry them. Baby, get over that. Love yourself. Love yourself. If you love yourself, you can love everybody else. I love you too, Eddie. If you love yourself, you can love everybody else too. Baby, when I walk into the convention center, when I walk into the convention center, honey, I'm not worried about somebody looking, oh, oh. no, baby, I walk in there with my head held high. Because, honey, I'm not bothered. Honey, just, just like I pee and poop, honey, they pee and poop too. Just like I need God on a daily basis, just like I need God on a daily basis, they need the Lord on a daily basis. We all need help. We all struggling with something. And to be honest with you, baby, we one, we just one paycheck away from being homeless, struggling, down, and depressed. Honey, we just, we one paycheck away. We one, two paychecks away from out here struggling and being out here strung out ourselves. So you mean to tell me, you Bible thumping motherfuckers, you mean to tell me you got that much hate in your heart for somebody? You mean to tell me that God is pleased that you got that much hate in your heart towards somebody? You mean to tell me, Lexi Allen, Baby, it's been, hold on, that thing, when did, when did Lexi do that interview? Wasn't that 2000, oh, Father God, 
Because we brought Tony to Minnesota. And right after that is when that, that interview aired. That was... That was 2000, was that 2009, 2009 or 10? It was around 2009 or 10. So if it was 2009, how many years is that, y'all? You mean to tell me, Lexi, Shawty, you mean to tell me that Lexi, has not even thought about saying I'm sorry. But you can jump your raggedy ass. I mean this, y'all. I love Lexi. Honey, I would have this very same conversation with her, period. Neef. You mean to tell me you would jump your butt over there on Daryl Wall's page? Janine, you remember when we brought Tony to Minnesota? Janine Cousin, do you remember when we brought Tony to Minnesota? I got the video. I, I can go right to the page right now. I can go right to the page right now. Baby, Tony took us in. Okay? Tony took us into the throne room of glory. Yes, he did. Yes, he did. Honey, we had church that night. Tony sung and danced us a while. Yes, he did. Yes, he did. Y'all so-called body of Christ, y'all got work. Y'all got work. Y'all got work. Y'all got work. If you don't work on this, I promise you, if you don't work on this, you said put that video up. Let me show y'all something. Uh, Tone, Tonex, High Praise Ministry. Here we go. How do you see my sexy self right now? Yes, Lisa. They I go right now. That's me right there. That's me. They go Tony. That's me, Slay. They go me, old ball head six itself. They go Tony right there because he was there for another night. He can I think he was there on that Sunday. And then he came back on that uh that, that Thursday or something. Cause James Grant Company had brought him. Um Hold on. Here go another one from the church. Right now. Right now. Yeah, right now. And guess who did this? Me. 11 years ago. Maybe I was over all the ministry stuff at the church. Before the pastor wanted to ostracize me. Like I did something so wrong. And then these little sissy ass little boys want to be in my inbox. So like, Can we have the YouTube back? Fuck you. Bitch, you're not finna destroy my work. What the fuck wrong with you? Bitch, you tried it. Tuh. You tried it. All right, look, 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 look. How right, this the praise break? Hold on.
I love just being able to go back and look at what I've done. You remember that, Janine? Girl, we was tore up that night. We was tore up. Yes, we was, girl. We was tore up. Hard to bring back memories, I tell you. Bring back memories. Honey, we had everybody there. And I think Brian Kahn was there, too. Bronisha Kahn was there, too. She was. I need to try to find that video. Mm hmm So the girl was there. Oh! 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 Here go the interview, y'all. They're going to interview right now. That's the interview. You want to know why running on the treadmill seven days a week doesn't work for you when you're trying to lose weight? Because it never has. And I know that's hard to believe, but it's true. Cardio actually burns calories, usually in the form of carbs in the bloodstream that are then replaced with the very next meal that you eat and store it as more fat. This is why when you even yeah. eat low calorie foods or run for an hour a day, it seems like you get softer, but you don't actually Yeah, part one, one part two, two part three. Why most marriages, I think what you're saying is they want the right to be legally recognized for their covenant with each other in a monogamous relationship. Absolutely. And so what I see is basically heterosexual relationships be they married or not, mm -hmm. celebrated in church, no matter if the person falls from grace or is pregnant, it's still straight. Mm -hmm. So God honors straight sin over gay commitment. Well, gay sin. This is nothing new. I mean, we the, the church has has always put a hierarchy on sin. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, if you fornicate, yeah. And after this interview, after this interview is when the church ostracized her name. Y'all listen, I'm done. I'm done. It is what it is, y'all. It really is what it is. Um, I think that it's crazy. I think that it's absolute crazy. But what do you do? What do you do? What do you do? What? What, Prince? Let me go, y'all, because my children. Yeah, I got the one with Quincy Thomas. I got that one right here. I got that one. I got that one, too. Anyways, y'all, I'm going to go. But think about what I said, because it's real. The body of Christ. Hell yeah, I hold, I hold Lexi accountable. Heck yes. Lexi, make that thing right. Because you decided to go forth with an interview. And matter of fact, instead of just kind of chopping some things up or whatever, you decided to go ahead. Or if, if, if because I don't even think the interview was bad. But somebody should have stood up for that man and said, hey, that's my brother. Somebody should have stood up for him and said, that's my brother. Do not ostracize him. He is still a man of God. He is still a vessel of God. Who did it? Lexi didn't do it. Lexi didn't do it. Lexi didn't do it. Bye, y'all.